Satan's Wimbledon boys. Won't be sitting with them, obviously. Uh, what? Good evening, Good evening. Jackpot. Jack, Hello. an opposition fan. Oh, it's, uh, how are we doing? I'm not too bad. Long journey up for years, but, oh, uh, always, but you know what? hopefully for years it'll be worth for, it, won't it? it? Tough game today, isn't it? Very tough game. Yeah, no, we need to bounce back from what was the disaster against West Brom, but that's the championship for you. It does happen. So I just hope Fozzie and the boys know that we need a reaction at least today. But it's going to be hard. I know Borough's a very inconsistent side, though, and especially mm. against newly promoted teams. However, I'm not going to put anything past um, them, especially what... what the yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, the fans are confident, but... Especially what they did versus Leicester last week, so... Oh, well, yeah, we're going to confidence. Happens, really. Going it with confidence, but it's, uh, it's a game, I think, as a draw with no love, really. My score prediction's 3-3. Free, free. I've been brainwashed <laughs> by I've been brainwashed by the home park game in November, so... We'll see if you're right. Yeah. Up the bother, or in your case, up the greens. Up the Janus, up the greens, up the Argo, up the Pilgrims, <laughs> up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green RB! Right. Well, right, team of Yusuf. Yusuf, um, a massive, massive free point against Leicester City, but it's going to be a different test today, isn't it? Because, yes, they're not very good away from home. We're not we're not particularly good at home at the moment, so it's got... I think it's got to draw it all over it, but what do you think? I think so. Well, yeah. our home form hasn't been good recently, but I think um, it's a must win. If we, if we want to, you know, there's still yeah. a small possibility of getting playoffs, so I think it's a must win. We haven't been great recently at home, so I think if we can give a good performance, um, otherwise it'd be pointless to get in that um, Leicester, Leicester game. We have to... Um, we have to... We have got to, to build it. from it, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, so I think if we can get a good result today, then... Just try and get a run of games, yeah. you never know. We win five, six games in the bounce. Anything's possible. So. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. What's your prediction then? 3-1 tomorrow. 3-1. Uh, Dan Barlas is going to score one. Okay. Finizaz is going to score a second. Yep, Britain in the stars. Oh, absolutely. And then a third goal with Lewis O'Brien. Fair enough. Let's hope you're right. Up the bubble. The first championship side to actually have the one personalised coach. And speaking of coaches... <laughs> There's a football coach for you, Jake. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, good, to see um, you as well. good win against Leicester City last week, but this week's going to be a bit of a different test, isn't it? Well, yeah, we don't normally do really good against uh, lower, lower sides, so obviously it's going to be a really tough test today. But it was a really good win against Leicester. I thought that we play, played really, really well, controlled the ball really well. Um, I think there was a few chances that we should have put away, but obviously against a really good side, we've done really, really well to put our chances away. So I'm hoping we're going with the same mentality today, get a few goals and just kill the game off. Uh, an early goal would do it, I think. Uh, so I'm going to go for a 2-1. I'm going to go with Finazza's goal. And yep. I'm going to go with... In stars. I'm going to go with uh, Marcus Foss to score as well. Good. Let's hope you're right. Come okay. on, Bora! Good afternoon and welcome along to the Riverside Stadium for Middlesbrough versus Plymouth Argyle. It's Double Johnson here for the game. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a different test today compared to the uh, game at Leicester City. It was a massive three points away to Leicester last week. Hopefully we can continue the form and get ourselves two wins on the bounce. But we haven't won any of the last like four home games. So we're not on good form at home. Plymouth aren't on great form away from home either though. But um, they'll be looking to uh, try and get back to win the ways away from home. Yeah, yeah. Junior. yeah. <laughs> thanks very much, Lee. Um, different test today, isn't it? Yeah. And some of a decent side, but just away from home, they're not brilliant. Yeah, we're up against uh, one of the best winners in the league. Top goal scorer, yeah. I do see us winning. Yeah, hopefully we do. I've, I've gone for a draw. But um, it's written in the stars for Vinners as the score, isn't it, today? Yeah. Yeah, well. So you've gone for 3-1. Who do you think will score? Uh, I think... I think... Uh, I think... I was strong for you, I thought you were going to get a good score shoot today. Do you think I was going to get a I think so. I think so. Fair enough, fair enough. Good to see you, buddy. Off the bobber. Off the bobber. So, carrying on, yeah. I, I, I have a feeling this is the sort of game that's going to have a draw with it all over. Yeah. I think mean, this will have a draw with it all over, unfortunately. We don't have a great home record, they don't have a great away record. And both teams struggling for form at the moment. But if we can get a win today, make it two wins on a the bounce, then um, happy days. Now, um, as you'll have seen, um, I uh, interviewed a few people outside. 
a lot of confident people. Um, Jack obviously isn't confident, um, but he thinks he thinks am I going to draw? I don't know. So we'll see how things go. Let's see how we, let's see how we get on today. Up the bomber. For the first half, let's go. And our girl playing in their white and green away kit, more the usual red and white, of course. Ian Foster there, or as I call him, the barman. See, I've heard he makes good lager. <laughs> oh, good. That's a point, right in the uh... I think that went out of play to be honest. Well, a tribute to Tony Mulgrew's um, struggling from uh, all the boat fans uh, applauding. T, 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 Sarah's, T, 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 Sarah's. And the hazard makes mistakes quite often. A bad touch. Get a call then. Ah, oh, here we go! It's going to be one of these games where someone makes a mistake and someone capitalises. Mustafa Bundu! Good save, follow up. It's in! It's in! Ah! Oh, for goodness sake, man! What are we playing at? All from a mistake again, and it's a rebound. They've gone absolutely berserk in that stand. Serves us right again. <laughs> Here we go again. This is what's it. That was Sorinola with the goal as well. Same as usual. What do I say? I literally said to the Plymouth lads, I said, I said, oh, you're guaranteed to get a point here because we make mistakes. We play, we play too slow. You know, we're just poor. You know, such an easy goal, such a poor goal to concede as well, but well, those fans went berserk up there. Oh, my word! Oh, my God! Clubber, for goodness sake. Oh, really? That just falls straight to him. And he's onside, he's off. Reinhard, he's off. There's a good block. Get out! Oh, every time, pass it back to them. Come on! It's going to fall to him. Good block. Again. Blocked again. They are all, they're all over. Uh, 20 minutes in and... To be honest, Plymouth could have had a second goal. <laughs> we are awful. This is very, this is very too slow. Too slow to release it. Let me just try and put it in the box. Dunbar, that's a score in that thing. No chance. Oh, go. what a ball. Onside, Ryan Hardy doesn't miss these. Deserved, just deserved, deserved. Yeah! Ah, two nil. Sorry, I missed the limbs, didn't I, in that win? But um, I got, I got so annoyed off, uh, off camera there. It's going to be 3-0 here. It's going to be 
they're just this they're breaking through us so easily we're making too many mistakes so love has only just about got that good goal for Marinardi he stayed on side it's a great ball and Marinardi doesn't miss them right in the far corner but it's embarrassing by our standards this And, and, and people wonder why I don't think we're going to get top six. This is why. It's in there. Oh my god. Luke in with another mistake. Ah! I'm ready for the booze at half time, are you? Well, I'll be happy over there, and I'm not. But I can't complain about the scoreline. They probably could have had three goals to be honest. They have been so, so much better than we have. We've been all over the place, been making mistakes uh, far too many times. And in fairness, we deserve to be losing. We, they, they could have had three or four maybe in our first half. It was so poor by our standards. But hopefully, second half's a lot better. The two goals. Well, first goal was annoying because Glover literally parried it straight into the path of um, um, Sorinola. Um, as for the second goal, it's a brilliant finish from Maynard. He stays on side and he doesn't miss those. So, yeah, I can't say that we... Uh, I can't really say that we don't deserve to be losing because we've been... Very, very poor. It's been the worst first half I think I've seen all season. It's been absolutely dreadful. Second half underway and shock horror. No subs made. <laughs> There'll be another game where he makes subs in the 60th minute, by which time, with the way they played in the first half, we could be 3 0 down by then. There we go. Probably the first good thing we've seen all match. Uh, Dad's not with me today, I'll see he's got things going on. Um, but before anyone asks, yeah, he's, he's okay. He's okay. Uh, so I'm going to do the uh, iron brew on my own today. <laughs> Probably going to be the best part of the match, this, but there you go. Up your nose! 3 0. Oh my word, he's hit the side net from that. Oh. Just let it fall to them every time, lads. Every time the fuck again. How do you lose the ball there? How can you lose the ball from that? Onside, right, here we go. He's gonna try and put it in, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh. That's into the centre. Everyone's still fine. Oh! oh. I had one. I think we have had one, I don't know. No, we haven't. Uh, Randall with one. the corner. Get it clear. Nope. Oh, see ya! That's brilliant. First one of the game. Right, so we've got a set piece. And it's absolutely awful. Uh, uh, that was absolutely dire as usual. Oh, we've been terrible at set pieces all season. Back to the keeper. Oh, oh goodness me, man. Yeah, that sums up the match, doesn't it? Absolutely crap. They were fans, as you can, well, you can hear in the background, very happy with this. And they, they deserve to be, really. I think they've been better than us in this game. We've been awful. Um, they've done the homework, Ian Foster's realised how we play and we've known for a while that we just tend to sort of pass around the back try and build up from the back pass the ball around but 
make far too many mistakes doing it and they've done the job over on us today they've, they fully deserved a free point you've got to say fair play to them well we've got a free kick are we going to do anything probably not yeah traffic scooter is the official name this will go nowhere. Yep, told you. I knew it was going to be blocked by the wall. Well done. Well done. Well done. That's all you got to say. Well done. They've been. We were absolutely awful. Laughable, it's absolutely laughable. First time they've run away from home in England all season. And that just shows how embarrassing we were. We, we were awful. Um, we got what we deserved, absolutely nothing. No, nothing going forward defensively, far too many mistakes. That first half killed us, and we just couldn't get back into the game. Well played, lads, and enjoy your wins, all I can say. And, uh, well, for Bubba. Doesn't get any easier if we've got Norwich at home. That's the next home game, Norwich. It's going to be uh, a bit of an uphill struggle for us now, but whatever. It is what it is. Cheers for watching, everyone. Hope you have a fantastic evening. I'll see you for the next home game. Bye.